It's no secret that dinosaurs are some of the most extraordinary animals to ever exist. From their alien-like anatomy to oddly familiar features, these prehistoric creatures have captured the minds of scientists and the general public. Throughout their many years of popularity, one question has been nagging at the minds of practically everyone who's heard of them. What exactly did they look like? Sadly, we'll never know for sure, but we can sure get awfully close. This is where people like you come in, so grab a drawing utensil and come with me as you learn how to illustrate your very own dinosaur. First off, you'll need to decide what exactly it is you want to draw. If you don't know yet, I suggest looking at examples of dinosaur art to generate inspiration. Alrighty, now that you have an idea in mind, let's get started. The most important part of preparing to draw a dinosaur is finding good reference images. Thankfully, I found a bit of a shortcut to get around those outdated and overly shrink-wrapped reconstructions that make dinosaurs look like they got high from a vacuum sealer. The trick is putting the word paleoart in front of whatever animal you're looking for images of. This works so well because paleoart is the professional illustration of prehistoric animals, meaning you'll mostly find art of people that know what they're doing. Another key element of gathering reference images is skeletals. These are graphics and diagrams of the skeleton of your dinosaur. Depending on if you're drawing a side view or a more three-dimensional piece, you may want skeletals of the front of your dinosaur as well. As for where to find good skeletals, ones from Scott Hartman, Getaway Trike, and Random Dinos are my favorite. Bonus points if you can find ones that show you what fossil material we do or don't have from the animal, since that gives you some room for creativity down the line. A general understanding of dinosaur anatomy is also required to make reconstructions that look realistic and fit what we know about them. You don't need to know a lot to draw something within the realm of plausibility, but just enough to know what looks too thin or not thin enough. You might be able to find muscle diagrams for your chosen dino as well, so use those to your advantage along with anything else you can find. This includes digital models, physical figures, and other oddities that you may have at your disposal. Alrighty, now that you're prepped and ready to bring your dinosaur back to life, it's time to get started. Begin with a few rough sketches for the pose you want your dino to be in. Use this as a way to make mistakes before working on your final piece. Do you want it to be traveling to an unknown destination, in the pursuit of prey, or perhaps even striking a pose for the camera? Be creative and thoughtful in this, as the pose for your dinosaur can have a huge effect on the overall mood of your piece. Also take this time to think about what features of your dinosaur you can get creative with. Does it have crests or horns that may have had spectacular soft tissue coverings? Or perhaps you want to add some fuzziness to it if other dinosaurs of its kind had similar features. Think outside the box with this, but not too much. Remember, we're drawing animals, not fantasy creatures. Once you have the pose you want, go ahead and sketch it out on the medium of your choice. Since you may want to erase something before you start getting into the nitty gritty of things. Though if you're working digitally, it doesn't really matter since you have an undo button and don't have to live with your mistakes. Alrighty, now that you have the sketch done, it's time to refine. Go back over your sketch with the major shapes and forms of your dinosaur. During this stage, you need to constantly look at your references to make sure your anatomy isn't too wonky. Be patient with this, as it usually takes a while. After this, you'll want to start moving into detail. I find it helpful to practice textures on a separate page first, to master the look you want before transferring it to your main piece. Focus on adding the specific features of your chosen dinosaur. Take note of its unique characteristics such as scales, feathers, crests, or other distinguishing traits. Incorporate these details into your drawing, paying attention to the placement and texture. Look at modern animals just as much as paleo art for references on details and texturing. Next, figure out where your light is coming from. Look at your references for help with what lighting makes your dinosaur look its best. 
This is where 3D models really come in handy. Now you can start shading to create depth and dimension in your drawing. Observe your reference images to understand how light and shadows interact with the dinosaur's body. Use cross-hatching, stippling, or other shading techniques to give your dinosaur a three-dimensional feel. As you work on your drawing, remember to take a step back and observe it from a distance. This will help you identify any inconsistencies on areas that need improvement. Don't be afraid to make corrections and refine your drawing further. And most of all, be patient. You don't even need to finish it all in one day. I hardly ever do, honestly. In fact, sleeping in between drawings can allow your brain to look at your work from a new stance, allowing you to see things you didn't before, be it areas you excelled at or spots that need improvement. Keep up this process of adding detail and shading to your piece in a thoughtful manner, making sure not to get too overzealous with the visual information you put on your page. Make sure to give yourself time to take a break every now and then, to rest your hand or get a drink. And eventually, you'll find yourself looking at a living, breathing dinosaur. Take a moment to congratulate yourself and relax. Well, you did it. You're your very own dinosaur. Now if you'd like, you can stop now and leave it be. Not every drawing needs additional elements. However, if you're still feeling creative, Consider adding a background that complements the theme or story you envision for your drawing. This could be a lush, prehistoric landscape, a dramatic sky, or any other setting that enhances the mood of your artwork. Just make sure it fits the environment your dinosaur is thought to have lived in. Finally, consider adding some color to your drawing. Research the most up-to-date information on the dinosaur's coloration, if available, or use your artistic interpretation to bring it to life. And remember, the process of creating a dinosaur illustration is a combination of scientific knowledge and personal creativity. So have fun with your drawing, explore your own creativity, and enjoy the journey of bringing these amazing animals back to life, whether it be on paper or screen. And as always, keep your pencils sharp.